let's talk a little bit about prayer, shall we? Hi guys, welcome. If this is your first time here, I wanna say that you are in the right place and if this is not your first time, you're welcome back. So today, as you can see, we're gonna be talking about prayer, the things I've learned about prayer and what God showed me about prayer. So um, I've mentioned this before in this channel that I grew up in a Christian family and one of the things that we did as a family was that we used to wake up early in the morning to have morning devotion. Mama will come and wake you up when your sleep is sweet. Like you will literally hear her voice from your dream. You know, nothing prayers cannot do. Jesus answers prayers. And when you hear that, you know that, okay, it's time for morning devotion. It wasn't something I was looking forward to because <laughs> whenever we gather to pray, we're not just praying for ourselves, but we'll pray for uh, relatives from daddy's side, relatives from mommy's side, cousins, loved ones, the nation, the country, everything. It was, it was like real, real house chore to me. So I never really looked forward to praying. Um, as I grew in the knowledge of Christ and I grew in my relationship with God, I know for sure I cannot do without prayers. And I'm going to be sharing with you guys three important reasons why you should pray, what prayer is for, because God has really expanded my understanding and made me to realize that prayer is key. Well, the very first reason is one, prayer is for connection and communion with God. Connection because God is spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. And in order for us to connect to God, we come to God through prayers. So prayer is really number one for connection and communion or communication with God. And the word communication, like we know, is interaction between two parties, two or more parties. So communication is a two-way thing. If I'm speaking, the person I'm speaking to will also speak back to me. In Jeremiah 29 verse 12, we can see that when we call God, he will answer. Because when you understand that you're not talking to a stone or a rock or praying to a wall, you, you have a better perspective and that way you know how to approach prayer in such a way that you're communicating, not necessarily just talking. Even while Jesus was here on earth, he did not bypass prayer. You can see in the New Testament where Jesus woke up very early in the morning, he would go to a quiet place to pray. And Jesus could have been like, I'm God in human flesh, so I don't have to pray. But no, he didn't, he didn't say that. Instead, Jesus actually humbled himself and prayed. Jesus was always praying in the night, when, very early in the morning before everyone is up. He was in constant connection and communication with God the Father. And we also see in the New Testament that Jesus um, taught his disciples how to pray because his disciples came to him and, you know, they asked him, they said, Jesus, please teach us how to pray. So if anything, his disciples were praying before, but they wanted to pray the right way. They wanted to do it the right way. And so they humbled themselves and they came before Jesus and they asked him. And then we can see that in Matthew chapter six, Jesus started teaching them how to pray and you know he gave them a formula when you come before God say our father that means you have the general understanding that you have a relationship with God and God is father who art in heaven so who art in heaven he's not in your space he's not in your earthly realm and so prayer connects the physical to the spiritual so that's the first one it's for connection and communication with God now let's go to the next point reasons why you should pray and why it's important to pray the second reason is this prayer actually helps you to grow spiritually I had no idea this was true until I personally experienced it so the thing is when you communicate with someone a lot you get to know the person so much more imagine if you're my friend and I talk to you almost every day or every day you get to know what I like what I don't like you sense when I'm not happy or when I'm sad or when I'm like super happy just from my voice even if you don't see my face and that's because you're in constant communication with me that you know communication brings people closer together and so when you you're in constant communication with God you grow spiritually you get to know him much more you're more confident in his word because I mean you talk to him a lot and so you get to know his nature so prayer helps you to grow spiritually prayer also changes the way you think of things your perspective I remember I was having um, a conversation with one of my friends because I noticed something happened to me I noticed that like certain things that will bother me on a normal day that I'm no longer worried about these things like when they come to my mind I'm just like fashy like God God has me I told him that I believe this is happening to me like I have so much more I'm 
I'm at peace and I have more confidence and I think it's because I've been praying a lot so the things that used to bother me before like when I think about it I will almost start crying it doesn't bother me anymore so that's why I was telling my friends so prayer changes you it makes you to grow it changes your form changes you from the inside out and even in Luke chapter 9 verse 29 we see that when Jesus prayed his appearance changed or in Matthew 26 verse 38 to 44 that was when Jesus actually prayed on his way to the cross so when he prayed at that point of prayer he gave up his will he because that was like kind of like a negotiation prayer in the sense that Jesus was so burdened that he said God if this is your will please let this cup pass from me in that place of prayer his decisions changed and he said nevertheless Lord not my will but your will so prayer has a way of changing you in such a way that you will start to confirm to the will of God to the things of God and that's you basically growing spiritually and the third point is that prayer is a system of authorization the system of authorization branches out to warfare prayer as a tool for fighting the enemy prayer as a tool for changing things prayer as a tool for enforcing your reality so with the first one which is warfare prayer as Jesus said behold I give unto you power to tread upon serpents and scorpion and over all the powers of your enemies and nothing shall by any means hurt you so prayer is a tool that you can use to actually fight and defeat the enemy why would Jesus even say behold I give unto you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions like what's, what was he talking about God has given you authority in your prayer in your speaking and one thing I love to do is I, I said this in one of the videos I posted that I love to pray the words of God when I started reading the word of God I'll go back to scriptures read it over and over again and sometimes I wouldn't even know that I'm actually memorizing these things it was just last year that I noticed that a lot of times I use the Word of God to pray and the confidence that I just get because I just know that okay I know what I'm saying like because I literally I live by the Word of God because if I wake up from a bad dream I'm like God your word says with long life will you satisfy me and show me your salvation I can't sue every stupid dream of death you know that's how I, I pray with the word of God and I say God who is it that speaks and it comes to pass when you have not spoken when you have not ordained it these things are in the word of God so I'm using the word of God to pray so the word of God and prayer those are my like those are my tools for really for for warfare because I'm not if I have a dream or even if it's a vision or somebody tells me okay God showed me something about you I always look at it from the standpoint of the word of God it does what of God what does the word of God say concerning me so you have to make sure you're feeding your mind with the word of God so that you would know so if the devil comes and whisper rubbish to you <laughs> you're holding the word of God tight and whatever the devil says that's his business do you understand so you have to make sure that you're grounding yourself with the word of God daily daily you don't know how these things will help you and you don't know when and where you will use the word of God as your tool in prayer to fight battles and um, there's something I want to show you guys in Psalms 115 verse 16 I'm going to read it out to you and explain what this means the heaven even the heavens are the Lord's but the earth has he given to the children of men what does this mean God is the creator of the heavens and the earth and the word of God is saying that the heavens is for God but the earth he has given to the sons of men which means that although God created the heavens and the earth he has given human beings charge over the earth and so you have the power through prayer to command results and edit your realities let me even explain it this way let's assume that I'm a landlord and so I have houses everywhere I've chosen to rent out one of my house although I'm the landlord I can't just badge into the house like I'm restricted because I've given them the authority to take care of the house I'm the general overseer however they are the tenants and at that point when they are living in the house they are in charge and so if I'm going to visit them I literally have to take permission and so when it comes to the earth God has given it to we human beings as he has given it to us so we are in charge when God wants to step in however he has limited himself that we have to basically use prayer to authorize him to step into situations and so you can't just assume that oh God knows what's going on so I don't even need to pray I mean that's what I used to think before but no voice it out in prayer 
command your results, edit your realities through prayers. When we actually pray with understanding, that's when we see results. And I, I want to share something with you guys because a friend of mine um, said something. He actually asked me a question. He asked me, he said, Esther, do you ever get discouraged when you pray? And I said, see, it's a good thing you brought this question because something happened to me recently. Um, you know, the devil always comes with his lies. I was praying um, at night and this thought came to my mind. This thought came to my mind in such a way that the thought was, Esther, you've been praying about this for a while, but nothing has happened. But then I, I decided to ignore the thoughts because I'm like, no, I'm not even going to get distracted. I'm going to keep praying. For some reason, this thought kept coming back. And I was discouraged just a little bit. I wouldn't lie. I was discouraged. But I kept praying and I went back to sleep. You know, I just said, okay, let me just have faith. I mean, what's the point of um, doubting? I've come far in my walk with God and I don't want to doubt because I haven't seen it. It doesn't mean that God is not working. So I went to sleep. I was, I was trying to fall asleep. Uh, what God did was he, he opened my eyes to see something. He took me to the spot where I like to pray in my room and basically made me stand there. As I, he showed me that as I opened my mouth to pray, I'm not wasting my time. First of all, the floor felt elevated, like I was lifted high. And in my mind, I'm like, ah, what's happening? And then as I opened my mouth to pray, first, God showed me I was untouchable. Second, he showed me that he was backing me up. And third, he showed me that when I opened my mouth to pray, I caused a lot of confusion to the kingdom of darkness in the spirit realm. And when, he showed me this. Oh God. All my life, this has never happened to me before. This was last year, December. And I was just like, wow. It was that same day that that thought kept coming to my mind that Esther, this is your prayer. Like, it's not going anywhere. Just stop. Do you understand? Like, I would have been discouraged and I would have just been like, yeah, it's even true. Like, what's the point? I've been praying about this for a while. And it's not like I was even praying for myself or anything, but you know, I would have gotten discouraged. But when God showed me that, it actually boosted my confidence. And I was like, oh, wow. So, you know, just to show that you're not wasting your time when you're praying, especially, you know, that your ways are right with God. You're doing things right. I mean, you're praying, backing your, your, your prayers up with the scriptures. The Holy Spirit is helping you to pray. I don't even know what I wanted to feel or what would have given me more confidence. But whatever it was that day, God himself encouraged me by showing me that. And I didn't just come here to tell you guys stories. This is real. This is so real. And I, I do hope that you take these things that I'm sharing with you guys seriously. God loves you. He really does. And he wants us to know the truth. That when we stand to pray, we're not wasting our time. So I'm going to stop talking now, but please, if you have questions, there's so much more to say. There is so much more and I can't say everything in a very short video, but again, the comment sections are open up for questions, comments, concerns. So let's talk. Let's talk. What don't you know about prayer? What do you have to share with me about prayer? I do hope you enjoyed watching this and I'm going to say a short prayer before saying goodbye. <laughs> okay. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for today. We thank you for whoever is watching this right now. We pray, oh God, that as you have given us a better understanding of why it, it's important to pray, we pray, dear God, that you give us the grace and the strength to always pray, to never get tired of praying, to never get tired of communing with you. I thank you so much for all that you have done. I pray that you bless your people and I pray that you keep us in your light and in your truth in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus name we pray, amen. I'm so glad. So I'm gonna see you guys in the next couple of videos. Stay tuned because there's so much more coming your way. All right, 